concept was that a member could pay ten dollars outside the fitness center. A member could pay ten dollars and get one of those proximity passes to use the clubhouse um, during the year. I just I don't think we should have to go to the White House to get a key to come down to this place. I, I think if people are interested in using it, they ought to be able to go up there one time, get a prox card. That's theirs. They're signed out for that. They're in the computer. Anytime they want to come down here during whatever hours you pick, reasonable hours during the day, they ought to be able to. All in. Accessible to what with that card? Lower level. Lower level. Lower level. Mm -hmm. But not the fitness center. Not the fitness center. Not the fitness center. Right. So it would not be actually open. It would be locked, but accessible. 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 Right. For members like of proximity. It just follows me so much that we need to close this whole building. And, you know, I mean, we spent so much money on this building and the upstairs, people who didn't come on the day of the opening, a lot of them haven't even seen it and can't. And now we want to close the downstairs. It, it just seems like what a waste of our money. general consensus we want to move in this, this much more free direction. Make it available to members who are willing to buy a prox card without any kind of supervision, which will include kids, because those cards will be in the hands of kids. So we're essentially opening it up to children of all ages uh, in an unsupervised way. I'm not ready to go that far. Well, you just did. No, I didn't. Because you said you added the opening up to kids. You sell a card to mom and pop, guess mm -hmm. whose hands it is in tomorrow. I understand. And but mom know. but mom and pop are still accountable for it. Yeah, but so if, the, if the little language. monster elects to do something, mom and pop are going to be uh on the for it. To the extent that you could track back. Right. 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 So right. If, there's two, if there's twenty pass cards that went in this hour and something is damaged, which one are twenty? When we get to the budget, maybe we need to add in a camera for that. It's going to be for next year's budget. What is the cost of the camera? Did you say something about 1500 Is that it? Well, that, no. uh, I think uh, cameras were very I think they were like three to 400 Yeah, they were very cheap. They were very cheap. But I think we do. Maybe you figure $1,000, including installation. Yeah. It's, it's also capacity. Yeah. I think we have enough capacity. Yeah. We do have extra capacity. Yeah. But I think we need to hire a Shenandoah University student, if possible, for those four to eight hours, <coughs> what Noelle had said. And she said 6500 that covered from Labor Day to Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. That's, that's mm -hmm. not bad. Yeah, well, oh, not. oh, the other way? What, um, whichever way? Whichever way he, we didn't, <laughs> Ray didn't want it open. <laughs> through, through the winter. <laughs> yes, through the winter. Good. That's nine months. The consensus says we want to open this up for people with a pass key, who are paying $10 for the pass key, in a non supervised way, which will mean kids. We are accepting that will mean kids at some time. We need the supervision. For what? Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, the difficulty is. Uh, you're opening yourself up to see some issues that are going to be increased there. I think you can supervise the kids in the building and have like over no dollar between You can make it a little bit less open by telling the, the, the moms and pops that this key is an adult key. Yes. And if your kid is caught with it in the place without you there, it's rescinded. You have to sign something that says that. Absolutely. You get that part. Yep. Yep. So we have you set up eight to it for oh, yeah, sure, sure. Just like you can do twenty seven. 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 I think we need to. For a start, maybe we don't. See, all, all the heads nodding on that, that we actually need some supervision during some times of the day. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. The times that kids are home, the very least. Yes. yes. So four, four to eight. Four to eight. Uh, one to eight on Saturday, one to six on Saturday. How about one to eight Saturday and Sunday for consistency? 
Is I don't think Sunday after 6 o'clock you'll get much activity in here, do you? We can always play that by ear, too, and change it later. Well, actually, that's been working on my phone. Well, we'll supervise it. We'll be my volunteers. I'll, I'll supervise, yeah, on Sunday evening when Mike and I are playing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, this is page to the great one. Yeah. I'm just saying to be more consistent, you need to remember that one day in the week is important. I think what we want to do is just recreate and uh, find a way to keep this thing open for the next uh, month. And during the course of the next month, before the next board meeting, we'll prepare a, um, a procedure document that we get the first time we open the clubhouse with the exact rules of the lower opening and the opening hours and the work to include at the next board meeting. But in the interim, we need to find a way to keep this open. For the hours, the 48 hours, or right. that's just suggested by 48, one day. Yeah. You've got to stop saying people. Right, super good from 48. Yeah. Thank you. And did you want me to go ahead and go back to activities and try to get it? Yeah. Volunteer ideas. Ideas. To see if we can. Parents that have thoughts on what's good and what's bad and what we need to do. They want to volunteer? Good. Okay, Ray, I'll take the responsibility to write that um, new opening procedure for the next board meeting. Along the lines that you have suggested. I'd like to ask you before we move this up. The proximity cards are going to provide a certain amount of good feelings, the releases will soft, soft provide a certain amount of good feelings. But if we're only talking 1500 bucks to slap a camera in the gathering room, I think we need to discuss that as well in conjunction with the policy. It needs to be in the game The game room. Yeah. Wherever activities committee feel it would be most appropriate, I think we should ask them to make that yeah. discussion. Even a fake one as far as I'm concerned. Just something where the kids <laughs> Don't forget the notes. Yeah. That's on YouTube, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was my idea, but I wasn't going to say it out loud. You don't want to put a fake note. I won't tell you what I said. Yeah. Oh, good. Right. That you don't have. Okay. You can open yourself up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.